A new generation of super dogs might offer a way to stop suicide bombers before they get a chance to detonate. They're called Vaporwake Canines, and they're the first dogs trained to track the scent of explosives on the move in a crowd. Bruce Lachan has a look. The Vaporwake dog's sense of smell is so precise, it is almost like the faint odor of an explosive is as vivid to its nose as a brightly colored ribbon streaming behind this suspect would be to our eyes. The canines are better odor detectors than the best man-made machine. We've got a female 5'4", black cat, red hair, gray shirt with a backpack. And they are already deployed with Amtrak police at Union Station in D.C. The vapor wake dogs will trail that moving target to its source for as long as it, it, it's moving. Traditional bomb sniffing dogs are trained to alert on chemical smells in stationary objects like cars or luggage. But the vapor wake dogs, initially developed at Auburn University in Alabama, are trained to follow the scent trail of a bomb, and they can pick it out even 15 minutes after a bomber has passed through the room. Capitol Police use the vapor wake dogs too. Ranger scents on a trainer with explosives strapped to his ankles and scratches at the sidewalk to get at it. Vapor wake dogs are trained for the work from the time they're pups. It is not that their noses are better than other dogs. They just have the focus and temperament to ferret out the scent of a bomb in a noisy, distracting crowd. There are now more than 100 vapor wake dogs deployed across the country. NYPD has more than a dozen of them. But the New York and New Jersey Port Authority does not. In D.C., Bruce Lachan, WUSA 9. And perhaps that may change now. The Auburn University professor who helped develop vapor wake detection dogs says the price of them is one of the things keeping more police departments from using them. Training, caring and testing the dogs can cost more than $40,000 a piece.